Hello everyone and welcome back to Integration Ninjas. Oof, this thing like I recently changed my Windows laptop and I'm just migrated to MacBook M3 Pro and now I wanted to set up everything like all essential tools, everything that I that is needed to run the applications. So let's see like it will be useful for you as well how you can set up the essential tools for the software development. So let's see like this is brand new laptop m3 pro i just opened it and this is 18 gb ram and this sonoma mac os okay all right so what we are going to do first is like part of software installation the first thing is needed as brew home brew package manager so we are going to install the package manager for this brew it will it will be useful in installing the other tools so we will just uh, do this it needs our password okay we will just enter once this is let's see what we are going to do here like we can see like first we'll install the brew and then we can do java and maven setup and then we can install node.js and git and then we can download vsc and intellij or sts anything and then we can docker and then we will try to like uh, clone our project from the github and we'll try to run any of the project okay so brew is installed here we need to just uh, add this run these commands and this will be done here now if we see brew okay this is done here now we can install few things like brew install git it will just install the git in our system alright and let it be installed till the time we can download the java as well download java 17 will download from the oracle only if you use brew install open jdk but i will prefer to use this one the mac orm like oracle one this is installing and this is still in progress okay so the jdk installation is completed we can install the jdk till the time the it is getting installed we can just uh, we need to add our password okay we can just add it to recycle bin since this is no longer used so yeah git is there now status is coming function have been installed too we can see like these are the git commands clone in it so this is completed now what we are going to do is we will be setting up the java and maven so if you see like this is our user directory user slash sh and after that we are going to list all the files we have dot zshrc file here we will open this and we'll edit some path here first of all we will see like where the java is installed java is always installed in the library folder and inside that java will be there jvm jdk 17 contents and home and bin we need to set the path to bin so we'll see how we can set the java home in our mac system okay let's do this export java underscore home is equal to this path all right and after that we'll export this to dollar path for dollar not by export path equals to or uh, dollar java underscore home slash pin colon dollar path and this will set our java path to the not like this it will be dollar path and to escape and dollar wq and we'll save this zshrc file with source command 
and now we'll see the Java is installed or not. Okay, so Java 17 is installed. Now we'll install the Maven. Brew install Maven and Maven will be installed in our system. And till the installation is complete, we'll you see the command to install node 18. Node 18 version I will use in my system. So we can see the command is simple brew install node at the rate the version once this is completed we will do that as well it's getting little time Once this is completed, we can install that. Yeah, this is almost completed. We can see the MVN command, run the MVN command and we can see like this is like so MVN is also there now. And we will install node 18 in our system so we are going to install this node at rate 18 this is downloading okay this is downloaded we need to set this path and save this to dot jsrc file after this we need to run below command okay so yeah we are good here we can see the node version here okay this is not yet uh, completed there is some issue probably will run this command again and we'll save the file also if there is some issue and we'll see the node version yeah this is installed now it's completed now what we will do is we can see if docker is getting installed from this sorry brew uh, install docker otherwise we will download from the official website let's see if it is downloading properly from here disable this brew uh, okay seems like it is installed we can see yeah Yeah, we can see the docker is here so docker cli is installed in our system we can install the docker application as well visual studio code we will try to download and same intellij also will download now we will download this visual studio code and we will download intellij as well uh, community version will download as of now we don't have license okay we have to download the apple intel that uh, not intel the silicon chip we have to download and uh, let's see where it is downloaded so the visual studio is there we can move it to applications and we can go to applications and see the visual studio code So 
yes we want to download it so visual studio code is downloaded and now we'll install the the yeah this is okay this is failing because of some issues not sure what is the issue downloads we will go to downloads and see rising this is keep getting downloaded now okay this is downloaded and we can use this now i guess IntelliJ is downloaded. Zenap download. Yes, we want to open it. Yeah, so IntelliJ is also set up now. Well, now what we are going to do is we have Docker and everything installed. Now we'll go to the GitHub.com. and we'll sign in to the github account here i will log into my so we'll try to first we'll run our node.js app application which is the main one we'll try to clone this somewhere like uh, I want to clone here like uh, CD to like where I'm right now. Okay, I'm in the my user directory. I want to create some code like uh, make some directory like uh, development. And here I want to to get clone here. Like let me just create one more directory GitHub and cd development slash github okay the directory is created at the wrong place so we can delete that and now we will move to development and we'll create a new directory github and we'll move to github and we'll clone this project here okay so cloning is done now what we will do is we will just uh, open this project in our visual studio code here we will open this project where we have in the development folder github we have node.js app project i want to open this and i will trust this yes i trust the authors and now we'll see like how we can we will open the terminal here and see npm run start okay okay we don't have the node modules okay first we need to do npm install now we'll do npm run start yeah so our server is up and well running so the node.js setup is done now we'll clone another project which is the spring boot application we have we are using it continuously in our project so i will like to set up that as well so i don't need to run every time okay so i will clone this project here and we'll do git clone and yeah done and i will open this project in intellij with the new 
not the new project it's uh, already a project so I will open this project Spring Boot example and I want to trust this project yeah so we are done this and we'll see like dependencies will be downloaded and all those things so we have to wait for a couple of minutes here till the time we can see like what SDK it is using in our IntelliJ settings not here we can go to the project settings somewhere We can go to project structure and see the oracle 17 jdk is being used so this is very well fine so we are good here and now what we are going to do is we are going to run this application we'll come here and we'll run this spring boot app dot java and we'll see if this is running yes this is running so workspace is like little bit fine now we can do like whatever the development i want to do here in my system so this is the basic configuration you want to install python and all those so you can install it with brew easily based on your requirement if you want to install net as well everything you can install but for this particular use we are good as of now and we have docker cli and all those things we have docker here so yeah so we have docker version 24.7 so we are good here okay so this is like basic setup of mac it's not that hard you can set up if you have the mac up easily thanks for watching this video please like it share it subscribe it and share it amongst your friends thank you have a good day